Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to another one of my, uh, I guess you call it Japan hauls. I'm trying to, I tried to fit everything on the bed here because there was a lot. There was a lot of stuff I bought this time, and for a surprisingly affordable price. I know half people probably don't believe me when I say that, but genuinely, this in total, the most expensive things were probably actually the weekly pro wrestling issues, but everything else here, some of this stuff was literally 100 yen. Or in other words, like 128 Australian cents, like $1.20 or like maybe 1108 US cents. So things were cheap. Basically, I'm out of breath before I even started, like what is this? Like, I, and I can't say I haven't been doing cardio because we were walking like 17 k's a day, literally. So, I thought I'd go over everything I've got. Um, there's a few shirts and some other little things I got and some surprises and stuff like that. But I want to explain the, the reason for some of these choices because you may have seen some of these games the first time I went to Japan. I'm legit like, I'm like trying to like stay on camera here. All right, so going through from the start, and I've like put into places with like some other shots. I bought a copy of Yakuza 1 and then two more copies of 2. Why did I do that? Because one, they were so cheap, literally a couple hundred yen each, one was like a hundred yen. And two, I want to do more giveaways. I want to give stuff away to you guys. So half the reason why I bought this stuff is because, you know, I probably shouldn't admit it's so cheap, but I want to give these copies away during streams and stuff like that, you know, in, in uh, you know, people donate or something like that, you know, give them something in return. Uh, so I've got a couple of Yakuza 1 and 2 of 2, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, the Ultimate Hits version of Kingdom Hearts, this is the normal version, I had one of them, uh, the regular copy of Kingdom Hearts, again, these are to give away, uh, three copies of the regular Ration Clank and one of the, um, the, the best, which is basically like another one of their platinum type thing. There's the best and then Ultimate Hits as well which I don't actually know the difference between them, I need to look that up. Then a copy of Samurai, which is uh, was quite a popular game, it was sort of popping up everywhere. Grand Turismo Concept and Grand Turismo 4 Prologue, and this book that came with a bunch of extra stuff in it, which is really, really cool. Bleach, again, super cheap. This game, which I have absolutely no idea what it is, I do not know what this game is at all. Does anyone actually know what this is? Please tell me. Um, it looks pretty cool. Another copy of Crash Team Racing. Beat Planet Music, which I've heard good things about, so I get it, can actually make music with it. Another copy of Final Fantasy VIII, Ridge Race of Type 4, Parappa the Rapper, Clanad, Clanad, Clanade, however you want to pronounce it, Clanad, Clanad, yeah. One of the greatest anime uh, pro pieces of programming I've ever seen, I genuinely love that. It's based on the visual novel, that is the visual novel. GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and San Andreas. Final Fantasy Dirge of Cerberus, that is apparently an excellent game, my friend Matt's played that. Dragon Ball Z. I got four other Dragon Ball Z games. I got that one, two, some Cosmic Freeze or something like that. And I gave it to my friend Jerry. Shout out to Jez. Shout out to uh, Jerry Kanatselis, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, I know that you're probably watching this because I've linked you it now. Um, what's it called? One Piece games. One, like one of them, One Piece. Another one. That game there, have no idea what the hell that is. Monster Farm or something. Don't know what that is either. These, again, were so cheap. I was just like, Let's just pick them up. I know that seems very uh, pampered, but literally I went over with a budget um, of, you know, I wanted to spend at least a couple hundred on games, stuff like that, and again, this ended up being super cheap. I've got a classic story which you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know about how I actually ended up having to uh, do something pretty crazy due to some wrestling tickets. Uh, I will leave it at that for now. If you guys know what I'm talking about, go on Twitter or on Instagram. Um, but uh, put it this way, um, yeah, yeah, but the, the money, money was, uh, a bit, a bit stressful towards the end there, but we got through it. Silent Hill 2 and 3, these were actually the most, probably two of the most expensive things I actually got, believe it or not, because they're actually really good games. And I got four, the last one was here, and it actually has an English language option. I'm praying that it has an English language option, that would be freaking awesome. Um, moving down here, a bunch of issues of Weekly Pro Wrestling, which is an excellent magazine that covers all of wrestling in Japan and unfortunately covers it for a couple pages only, uh, some WWE shit, but uh, you know, regardless of that, it's still excellent. So you've got those copies there, a bunch of stuff. I had stuff like Kenny Omega's uh, G you know, title win, Hiromu Takahashi winning the, the Super Junior title, you know, Io Shirai leaving and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, Okada, Kenta coming back to Noah, all that kind of stuff. And then these ones were the, that, that one, and that one came out the day we left, actually. Sugiro's title win, yeah, so all that kind of stuff. Got to meet my boy, Nomura from BJW as well, and this Deathmatch legend over here, so that was really cool, got to meet them. Got a couple shirts, um, but yeah, I mean honestly, picked up some good, some good stuff. 
picked up some good stuff this trip. I'm looking very, very awkward. Let me just try and try and move it here. What have we got here? Do that for the fans, for the for the fans out there. No, um, yeah, it was uh, it was excellent, excellent trip. Uh, very glad to be back. Excited to be doing some more work, uh, like you know, real work, and also work and then also of course YouTube uh, there'll be plenty of stuff coming uh, plenty of stuff to do with all this I'm sure um, yeah we hopefully playing some of these games at least during the live stream something like that I really want to do Yakuza and Kingdom Hearts and of course Crystal Vision in my name you know it's about time I've actually I actually start covering some Kingdom Hearts stuff um, but yeah all this Honestly, excellent. Like, super, super happy with the pickup. Again, just not that I'm not that I'm trying to flex or anything like that, but I want to emphasize that yes, this was not like thousands of dollars worth of stuff. You look at this, you look at this, you would have buy this online. Yes, just spending thousands of dollars. But this honestly came down to like, I think overall over two, three hundred dollars. So yeah, it's uh, if you want to go to Japan to pick up good stuff like four copies of Ratchet and Clank. Um, do that, and I'm not just hoarding them so they can be mine forever and being like one of those douchebags, but it's trying to sell everything. But I will be hopefully giving you things away through competitions and stuff like that. So definitely get around all that when it comes over. Um, it should be great. Thank you guys for watching this haul, I guess, and I shall see you very, very soon in the near future. Goodbye.